The solemnity of the Holy Trinity is one of the first ones that was instituted in the church. Well, as a matter of fact, next weekend we have another solemnity, Corpus Christi. But solemnity is still to us a mystery. A mystery that we could not show you scientifically how each person cooperates to make one God. You could not distinguish, let's say, a lady that could be daughter, wife, mother. She has three different persons and she acts differently to each one of us. Or you could not doubt that water, who is H2O, is a liquid component. But if you put it in the freezer, it will become ice. If you put it in the oven, it will become steam. The same H2O in different presentations, but still a mystery. That doesn't explain anything. But this mystery, oh man, what could I tell you? We have one of the biggest philosophers and theologians of the world, San Agustin Ipona, who one day in his meditations, at the side of the Mediterranean Sea, he was praying about the same mystery. Oh my God, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. Holy Trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Suddenly he realized there was a child over there as make a hole and was trying to run to the sea, get some water and put it on the hole. So now he said, oh, well, children, but he's still, oh, Father, Son, it will be this, who is first? This guy, no, no, I think, who? but then after what? Oh, man, what's going on with this chair? So he asked the child, uh, come on, my son, what are you doing? No, 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 I'm not in here. I'm just trying to, to put all the water of the sea that is in that side. I want to put it in this side. And the saint said, no, 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 that is not possible. It's too huge to put in a small hole. And the child answer, and you try to understand the mystery of the Holy Trinity in this small head. It is this kind of mystery. You believe because it's a personal revelation. I could not teach you about Holy Trinity. You need to to feel it. You need to embrace it. You need to, to have the protection of your creator, the father, who knows that he will never separate from you. You have also the one who will be there and help you in case that you need to ask forgiveness of your sins. But then you ask that power that is telling you, wake up, you could do it again. Come on, let's try again. That power that gives us judgment, wisdom, that power that make a big difference between us, created the same image of God, and the other animals or other living creatures around the planet that could be more sophisticated than us, but only us, we are created for eternity. We know as Jesus Christ that when he born from the Blessed Virgin Mary, he was a hundred percent man, a hundred percent God while he was on this earth. You and me, we are a hundred percent man or woman, and a hundred percent God. 
with the big difference that Jesus commit no sin, but we, gosh, we commit sins. So that's mean that, that I upset the reality that this will die, but I'm looking for eternity. I look into continue living with my creator. I know as a fact that it will be a resurrection in myself and I will be with my Lord. And that's what I dream in every day, just to see Jesus face to face. But wait a minute. Here's the question. Do I have to wait until I die to see Jesus? Do I will have the privilege to see Jesus while I am in the funeral home over there? No. We want to see it today. Today, now, and every day. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. One of the persons that is God has made us Temple of the Holy Trinity. Temple of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit has made us the privilege to know that God is here. That all this beautiful building is because we come to worship the Lord. And that all of our life is moving to one purpose, to feel God's presence in our life and to be sure that we walk in straight behind Jesus to see the Holy Trinity at the end of our life. The church pray for each one of us that the Holy Spirit reveal in yourself that you recognize you are the most important creation in this universe. No matter how old we are, no matter what color do we have, the persons that we follow Christ, we are granted eternity. But sometimes we need to reflect, oh my God, do I am the most important creation of God? Yes, no doubt. So the church pray that you elevate your self-esteem to know that you're special, to know that you're above all the other living creatures. You know that all animals was given to you so you could eat and survive. All plants are given to you for your comfort, to eat everything with discretion and without giving pain to animals or plants. Everything God has created, only for you. He wants to be sure that this machine is working not only until 60 years old that I have. No, maybe for 70, oh no, 70, 80s? No, 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 no. 90, Lord? No, 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 no. I want to run to the 100 years old. That's the pain of the Holy Spirit. That depends of our level of prayer. That depends that we really believe that we have that extra power that we call the Holy Trinity in us and that constantly looking for us and that as soon that we say, God, Immediately, have it stop. Wait, somebody's calling me in Austin, Texas. Let's be quiet. This is my important creation. And there is God waiting to see what you need, what you will ask him, what you want to worship him that particular moment. He do not create us. No, 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 no. He created you. He created me. 
one by one. He knows our name. He knows until the last hair of our head. We are God's creation as his son image. And for sure, we will return to him. Let us pray that, yes, that we could see God at the end of our life, that we could experience God every day in our life, but also we pray for all human beings on the planet because they're all God's creation. But more important, and this is the message today, the mysteries of the Holy Trinity is there. Only when you pray, Lord, increase in me my desire of holiness, you will be experiencing the presence of the Holy Trinity in your life. Only when you're looking for holiness, for you, for me to be holy, that will be the only way to be successful in life and to know the Holy Trinity is working with me. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.